Welcome to Oklahoma State University. Their students are some of the brides in the nation. They bleed orange and pay exorbitant prices on groceries. Hi, I'm Colton Gamble. On this college critique, we're going to talk about how OSU sets prices versus their competitors. According to University Dining Services, the prices of groceries is set by two factors. Um, our director sets the final price based on what the cost is to us okay. and what surrounding places are selling it for. For those of you who are not familiar with OSU, students have about two options for their groceries. These prices are supposedly compared to prices of nearby places, but the only major competitor is Walmart, with a few smaller stores in play that don't really have the same range of foods as the former. The best way to gauge the opinion of the prices is, of course, by students who live on campus. So let's ask them what their opinions are. Meet Rosalind Bailey, a two-year geology major who has spent two years on campus and two years off. I just remember I had to pick and choose what meals I wanted to eat because I only had so much I could spend a day because everything was so expensive. Another student, Andrea Nish, is currently spending her third year on campus and she says that may be due to their proximity. Um, I feel the prices on campus are definitely higher but it's more convenient than going off campus sometimes. Of course, what viewer would take just opinions to sway them? Maybe these students are privileged? Well, that's not the case. Let's compare the prices of groceries on campus versus Walmart. For example, just for produce, this red delicious apple costs one twenty-seven per pound at Walmart. How many apples on average can be in a pound? According to Kircher's Orchard, a pound is about four small apples, three medium, or two large. OSU sells a moderately sized one, so let's say it takes three apples to make a pound. The price of an apple at 20 something is 99 cents per apple. In other words, an increase of about $1.80. Oh, but it doesn't stop there for items that are produce. Many items at 20 something reach much larger differences. For example, a single stuffed Oreo package is worth $3.50 at Walmart. At 20 something, double that to $7.09. What? Yeah. Aren't they like $2.50 at the store? I didn't realize that they were that different. In fact, the average difference in prices of items was around $3. $3! That's basically saying you could buy the second me at Walmart. If the prices are any indicator, it seems that OSU is overpaying for groceries, or the students are paying for a severe convenience charge. For this college critique, I'm Colton Campbell, looking for coupons.